there in St. Louis. She actually does have an office and broadcast out of an underground cave. They have a big complex of caves there. They have a lot of businesses in them. George Norrie obviously does not need to be introduced. I've been on Piers Morgan, and they said that was the biggest political media event of the year. L.A. Times and CNN voters said it was. I've been on the BBC, Nightline, Rolling Stone, Esquire, you name it, cover stories, and never gotten one-tenth the response that I've gotten going on coasttocoastam.com. Going on that 500 and almost 600 radio stations, they're on in Canada, they're on all over the world. You know, most U.S. radio shows, even if they're popular, like, like Rush Limbaugh, do not end up airing on broadcast stations in other parts of the world. But his show is so fascinating. And the family of guests he has on is so diverse and thought-provoking that Coast to Coast is uh, America's radio uh, export. Kind of like the Beatles with the British invasion. George Norrie is the radio invasion of the world. I was just thinking about that last night. I was on his show last week and just got mobbed uh, on the streets, walking around Austin, going to restaurants. Hey, Alex, I heard you on George Norrie. That was a great two hours. I like, when are you going to get George on your show? And then the waitress comes over. I heard you on George Norrie. And then I'm at the gym. Hey, I heard George, George Norrie. I heard you on 590. That's because just here in Austin, he has, last time I saw the ratings, something like 70% of the total radio broadcast audience. Now, you're killing it if you got 10% of the audience. Back when I was, you know, on at night here uh, before George, uh, killing it's 10% of the total audience. Up against AM, FM, rock and roll, hip-hop, uh, Spanish music. I'm not kissing George's butt. I just don't think anybody sings the songs of his uh, praises like they should. Uh, that this is big media, and 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 talk radio is the only place that still has giant audiences. MSNBC, CNN, even Fox has what three million on their big shows. Well, George Norrie has six, seven, eight, nine, ten million a show. Sixteen, fifteen, you know, twenty million depending on the week. But you don't hear CNN hyping it. You don't hear Time Magazine hyping it because they don't have audiences anywhere near it. MSNBC's got 200,000 viewers on their average show, 500,000 on their top show. CNN, same story. They're in free fall. That's why you see the globalists trying to destroy talk radio with all the regulations and FCC coming in and moves towards the fairness doctrine is because they're scared of it. They want to control and dominate and censor the new media with Cass Sunstein, White House tactics to cause infighting on the Internet, something George is never involved in. That's why I'm never involved in it. But what can they do about talk radio? Well, they can try to buy up the companies and just basically bankrupt it, run it into a wall. That's why it's so important that we continue to promote new media and old media. Just like I'm on over 160 AM and FM stations, more like 170. Support those local AM and FM affiliates. Become sponsors. Support those sponsors. Let them know why you support them. And if you're listening to us right now or George Norrie, tell people about the show. We have the audience. If we leverage it... If you leverage it, it's over. George, I remember first hearing him when he took the show over like, I don't know, it has to be like 15 years ago or something. I remember hearing George on air saying it's not the law under the Model States Health Emergency Powers Act to take the vaccines. And they even credited him in the news as getting a movement going to say, hey, it's not the law and we shouldn't have them have regulations for forced inoculations, starting with firefighters, police and nurses. And see, that's why I'm so excited about George, is that in this whole pantheon of great talk show hosts, he's right up there at the top, and it's another testament to getting out of the left-right paradigm with complex issues, some of them wacky, some of them profound, and, and, and really bringing people together. Like Drudge Report, you know, having videos out of Chicago of libertarian black folks breaking with Obama. Now, George, I'm going to stop buttering you up here, but I just thought I would talk about how important you've been over the years. Even before you were in talk radio, uh, winning three Emmys for news, uh, just so much you've done. That's why I respect your view on the state of the world. So where is the world right now? What do you make of the Drudge headline? They dare not speak his name. Democrats won't even say his name. What does it mean that Brand Obama has fallen so incredibly hard? Then we'll get into Ebola. Uh, we'll get into the elections and whatever else you want to cover, George. Well, first of all, Alex, it's great to be on your program again. I mean, I really look forward to it. And you talk about response because after I'm on your show, I open up all my coast-to-coast -coast AM emails, and everybody's listening to you. So uh, thanks for having me on. Oh, there's massive crossover. We are living in the strangest...
strangest times and most difficult times I can remember in my entire life in broadcasting. Let's, let's go back a little bit. When George Bush was the president, the son, nobody wanted him in anymore. You know, aside from a few Republicans, people were fed up with him. They wanted out, and they ran to Barack Obama. They ran to him. They cherished him. They voted him in. Now, here we are, six years later, people have made a complete turn again. They want him out. They don't want anything to do with him. His own party shies away from him. They don't want to mention his name. What does this tell you about our political spectrum in the United States? People just don't trust candidates anymore. They don't trust elected officials because they're given the wrong person. They're not given somebody like Ron Paul who comes out and tells the truth and lays it out there for you and cares about you. We're given politicians who have their own agenda, whatever it is, and people are finally getting to that point where they're fed up. This is an interesting election right now because it comes up next Tuesday, and I'm in St. Louis, uh, as you mentioned. I go back and forth between here and Los Angeles, and uh, I have a secret location, by the way, in Dallas, which I don't tell anybody about. I love Texas. <laughs> but I, I, I've, I've got to say, people are just, they're done. They're done with the political system, and Democrats in the St. Louis area who are up for election and re-election, they don't want anything to do with it. I mean, if the president today, and this is a sad state of affairs, the president today said, look, I'm going to come to St. Louis and campaign for you. They don't want him here. And it's unfortunate. It, it, it truly is. I mean, people need to trust their politicians, and we're just not getting that. I mean, you don't, oh, Barack Obama, when he came out with his and this, these are the mistakes he made, Alex. When he first came into office, had a tremendous mandate. You know, people wanted him in. People that wanted nothing to do with George Bush anymore. He picked up on the bailout system exactly the way George Bush had presented it and was funding it. And he just carried, he just carried the ball into the end zone the same way. He then immediately went into his health care program without thinking it through. And everything he has done administratively has fallen short, whether it's battling ISIS in the Middle East or, you know, a naming a czar on Ebola who is nowhere to be found. Everything he has touched has just not turned out the way it should. And people have finally gotten to a point where they say, we're done. Uh, you know, I hate to exist in a two years before another election, and we'll talk about those candidates uh, in a moment. But people are going to be limping to the finish line with this president. And I'm nonpartisan, as you well know. We don't talk politics on coast to coast. So you're getting some of my personal views here. We're at a point in this country where unless we get some people in office like the Ron Pauls, we are in serious, serious shape. George Nori, I totally agree with you. I see a major political realignment where it doesn't take people four or five years to wake up to a political party or a political group lying to them. People are waking up in months now. And if the Republicans, who are probably going to sweep the House and the Senate next week, despite massive election fraud and illegals voting, if they don't deliver some basic tax relief, some basic corruption reform, dial back the police state, if they don't stop the lying, it is going to become very destructive. And then you realize there is a political group behind all this that wants to wreck the country, that wants to basically destroy confidence. So how do you not trust the liars, but at the same time have enough confidence for society to still work together? Because as you said, when people stop trusting everything, then society really does collapse. I mean, there's extremes of both sides. No doubt. I believe that the people like Alex Jones who come forward and tell the truth based on your own investigations, based on what you see, you just don't spout things out. You're not one of those talk show hosts that just throws out opinions. You check first. You research first. You quote articles. I, I, I've seen this happen time and time again where people have tried to come after you for saying something. You've got 
resources behind you all the way up your arm. Sure, if I didn't, I would have been sued into oblivion. That, absolutely, absolutely. And so what is happening now, and I think in the long run, I've said this before, I'll say it again, I think that the American people will win out over this gross stupidity that is happening around this country right now. What we have lost in government is the most simplest thing, and that's common sense. They're just not doing things that are for the people. And, you know, the, the greedy money barons have taken over, and the multi-level corporations are pushing their agenda. And in the long run, though it's going to be a rough, rough road, we're going to win. Well, no sure. Doubt in my mind, we're going to win. I agree with you. They can't shut us up. That's they right. Can't stop us. Can't stop the signal. George Nori, coast to coast AM dot com, beyond belief dot com, for his hit TV show, coast to coast AM dot com, beyond belief dot com. We're going to come back and talk about how he thinks we'll win, what he sees in this new election coming up, and what he thinks of lame duck Obama and his executive orders. Will Obama end up getting impeached if he starts power grabbing after the election? My Magic Mud is a tooth whitening powder that removes plaque and detoxifies your mouth. It's safe for your enamel, giving you a beautiful polish and a dentist light clean after every use. My Magic Mud is also the perfect remedy for pain caused by sensitivity. It strengthens your teeth and gums for a strong, healthy smile. The ingredients are 100% natural and it's safe for children. Simply brush with My Magic Mud right before bedtime for a cleaning you can count on. Visit MyMagicMud.com. Warnings of an American collapse hit us nearly every day. Gear up while you still can with Infidel Body Armor. Don't spend between five and six hundred dollars. Infidel is available for just three seventy four ninety nine with free shipping within the U.S. Made in America and legal in all fifty states. Resist tyranny with Infidel Body Armor. Buy yours today at infidelbodyarmor.com. Spelled I N F I D E L bodyarmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. Aging starts at the cellular level. When cells become toxic, they die early and aging sets in. In the past decade, we have witnessed unparalleled scientific discoveries. During that period, key patented compounds have focused on mitochondrial growth, nerve growth, and rejuvenation. But no one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. We now have the synergistic solution, D DNA Force, just one of the key compounds. BioPQQ is backed by major clinical studies and over 175 PubMed listed published studies. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? The ultimate value, cutting edge, trailblazing game changer that also supports the InfoWar. Secure your DNA Force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888 253 3139. DNA Force from InfoWars Life. Hi folks, Ronnie McMullen here for Life Change Tea. Healthcare is a problem, whether you're for or against Obamacare. It's a mess. My question is, who do you trust? Do you want to be told what to do, or do you want to make your own decision? My opinion, preventative maintenance. Keeping your colon clean is preventative maintenance. A little exercise, a balanced diet, and drinking Life Change Tea. It tastes great, and it helps with constipation, high cholesterol, liver problems, acid reflux, and much, much more. And with the holiday season upon us, you can get some extra tea for free. Don't wait for Obama. Make your own decision. Order now. Call us at 928-308-0408. That's 928-308-0408. Or you can log on to getthetea.com. That's getthetea.com. Ridding yourself of harmful toxins is truly preventative maintenance. Getthetea.com. Digestive health is key to wellness, and Pro-EM-1 is the key to digestive health. Pro-EM-1 is a daily liquid probiotic that improves food absorption and supports weight loss by removing toxins from your system. Recommended by doctors, Pro-EM-1 is 100% natural, organic, non-GMO, wheat, soy, gluten, and dairy-free. Call us today at 888-611-8025 or visit ProEM1.com to save over $25 on your order. That's 888-611-8025 or P-R-O-E-M-1.com. 
I'm watching and waiting for the right time to take everything you own. I love a dark house. Don't be the next victim of a break-in. Go to faketv.com and discover a device that creates the illusion someone is inside watching TV and makes your home unappealing to would-be thieves. Don't these people ever leave? Starting at $24.95 and there's free shipping. Go to faketv.com or ask for it at your local hardware store. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. It seems like yesterday, my friends, but it was long ago. I've been going on George's show. It's got to be 13, 14 years now. And I thought about it. Half my life I've been on air. More than half my life. Pretty, pretty hard to believe how time flies by so quickly. George Nori uh, is our guest, coasttocoastam.com. I'm your host, Alex Jones, and I'm on here during the day. He's on uh, overnight and with the Coast to Coast sensation. And he's here with us today in the long segment coming up. We'll get more into Ebola and other issues. But Ferguson continues to blow up. Uh, and I know that you, you know, have a home and, and are broadcasting right now from very close to there. I'm concerned that when it comes out, they're not going to indict this cop, that all Hades is going to break loose. It already has been. And I'm not defending police state tactics. Our own reporters got shot with rubber bullets for no reason. But it did turn out the cop told the truth and was in danger. And it was a justified shooting. But people say they don't care if it's been proven that, uh, to be a, a justified shooting. CNN, MSNBC are still race baiting it. Are they hoping for some racial blow up as a diversion for Obama? I don't think they're hoping, Alex, for a racial blow up, but uh, I I'm concerned that it could happen. You know, I went through the Detroit riots uh, back in the 60s. And about a month or so ago, when I was back in St. Louis, I went out to Ferguson and looked at the area during the daytime. And, you know, it, it's a small area. I mean, it, it doesn't look like a huge war zone like you see on CNN. But it's upsetting because businesses have boarded up their places and they're trying to stay open. And, you know, you go by it and see, you know, wood all over the place boarding up the windows. You don't even know if they're open or not. So those people are really getting hit. And they're suffering the most. The worst part about it is, is you've got a lot of infiltrators coming in from outside of the St. Louis area now who are just coming in for their own publicity or just to, you know, rabble-rouse and to do things like that. Now, you're absolutely right. The police officer apparently had to defend himself. Why in God's name that uh, this individual had to tussle with the cops is beyond me. Um, he, he should have just merely said, you know, okay, I'm getting out of the street which is what the police wanted in the first place. Just don't walk down the middle of this road. And, you know, they told him, get out, and, uh, and all age broke loose between the cop and the individual, and he got killed. Now, was it excessive? Did he fire off too many bullets? I think this problem would have started even if he had shot once, even if the police officer had shot him one time. Point is, the cop told the truth, and the some of the other locals lied, but other black witnesses confirmed what later came out in video and witnesses. So I just don't get everybody staking the whole world on this event when it's 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 not even an example of a cop being out of control. There's plenty of examples of police doing bad stuff, and a lot of times they end up getting in trouble now. Uh, I just think only scapegoating the police feeds into this balkanization program the system wants where it's an us against them mentality and i think that's why the controlled media tries to promote a police state on one hand but also uh blame the police for everything at the same time it's like saying oh look they have all these armored vehicles in ferguson well who gave it to them the attorney general was blaming local police when their training and armor came from homeland security george we have uh, friends here who are local police officers, Alex, and uh, many of them have scheduled vacation time coming up. They have been told no vacation time right now. Uh, you've got to be on hold. Uh, so they're anticipating the potential of problems if and when the uh, ruling on the indictment or non-indictment comes through on the police officer. And you're right, the speculation is, is that the officer is not going to be indicted. And once that happens and that comes out, who knows what's going to happen. Uh, but you know what? Uh, you got to get to a point where, you know, you and I have talked about the police state for some time. Uh, this is one of those times where you need police forces in place. You can't have people looting, you know, shooting and, you know, doing whatever they do. We need some order here. 
Well, sure. I mean, we care about the police officers. We don't like the politicians and the police state. People tend to confuse those. I know you don't. Uh, Again, all this federalization, all this militarization, all this training, the welfare society, all of it is coming out of Hollywood, out of D.C., and then the police are on the ground who are being trained to act like this, and then the feds go, look at how horrible your police are, we'll federalize them. Yeah, there's, there's no doubt about it. So we're going to watch this situation unfold. Uh, I don't know when they're going to make the announcement. Uh, there's talk that they may do it on a Sunday uh, which is a strange time, of course, but uh, um, they may do it on some day like that to minimize a crowd. Uh, but we'll see what happens. And the, the interesting phenomenon about all of this, social networking has made demonstrations so much more powerful. I mean, because now you, you tweet and you get the word out as they did in the Middle East during the Arab Spring a few years ago. And I mean, instantly, you've got people out there. And they yes. About. And you never know what will cause that chain reaction. George Norrie is our guest. We're getting into the big issues straight ahead. The election, the economy. But first, his take on Ebola. What's really going on with Ebola straight ahead. We're on the march. The empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. InfoWarsLife.com. Check it out today. I have set out to bring you the most hardcore, cutting-edge supplements and nutraceuticals bar none. And that's what you'll find at InfoWarsLife.com. We have rejected literally hundreds of products from the InfoWars Life line because they are not of the very highest quality or because they're not 100% organic or because they don't pass all of the strictest toxicology tests there are that we have listed at InfoWarsLife.com. Whether it's survival Survival Shield Nascent Iodine or DNA Force, Super Male Vitality, Super Female Vitality, Lung Cleanse, Fluoride Shield, Oxy Powder. I believe that all of these products will blow you away like they've done the thousands of other customers that have visited InfoWarsLife.com and believed in us and tried the products. Folks, check out InfoWarsLife.com today and the entire line of groundbreaking, cutting edge, hardcore products. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula. Super male vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. I jump out of bed ready to fight these criminals every day. I look forward to waking up and taking my super male vitality. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your super male vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life. The government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel body armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds. Is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L, BodyArmor.com. Infidel body armor just won't quit. Aging starts at the cellular level. When cells become toxic, they die early and aging sets in. In the past decade, we have witnessed unparalleled scientific discoveries. During that period, key patented compounds have focused on mitochondrial growth, nerve growth, and rejuvenation. But no one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. We now have the synergistic solution. DNA Force, just one of the key compounds. BioPQQ is backed by major clinical studies and over 175 PubMed listed published studies. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? The ultimate value, cutting edge, trailblazing game changer that also supports the info war. Secure your DNA Force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. DNA Force from InfoWars Life. Hitler took the guns, Stalin took the guns, Mao took the guns, Fidel Castro took the guns, Hugo Chavez took the guns, and I'm here to tell you, 1776 will commence again if you try to take our firearms. Doesn't matter how many lemmings you get out there on the street begging for them to have their guns taken. We will not relinquish them. Do you understand? Rallying patriots worldwide in defense of human liberty. 
It's Alex Jones. Well, here's the big headline that just went live at Infowars.com directly from a CDC report and documents confirmed by the U.S. Army that I want Red Link to put at the top of PrisonPlanet.com and Infowars.com. This is an article by Kit Daniels, CDC, Ebola spreads like the flu. A CDC flyer describing the droplet spread of Ebola, which happens when germs traveling inside droplets are coughed and sneezed from a sick person, is nearly identical to the CDC's description of influenza, which it breaks down. And then he links in there to the Army's own report confirming that. And here's the issue. We knew years ago that they believed it was somewhat airborne. And now we know that in temperatures below 45 degrees, it can live for days and travel miles. So if this is real Ebola, because it could be a simulant or something else, it's very suspicious, we got a big problem on our hands. Either they're covering up, in my view, I want George Norrie's expert take on this, either they're covering up for the election and hiding it, or it's not real Ebola because... They would wear spacesuits previously, and this Ebola clearly lasts longer, incubates longer, is much more dangerous. It's real in Africa. I'm not saying there isn't an Ebola crisis. There's just no response. And But then I talked to a medical doctor in Dallas who's high level. We have a medical doctor from uh, Missouri on. who They didn't fire Monday, but they're ostracizing. He's the head of, of several hospitals. He said, no, the feds come in and grab people out of the Harry Truman Hospital that are bleeding out and disappear them. I've had senior Border Patrol on by name saying this is happening. Zach Taylor and others. Dr. Group met with senior Border Patrol who were active duty trying to figure out what's going on. See, the Border Patrol, the police, the feds don't even know. It's, it's COG, FEMA, CDC, uh, NORTHCOM. Uh, the Army doesn't even know what's going on. It's only senior people. And believe me, the, the, the military teams are much bigger, though, than, than them saying it's a 35-person team. No, they're grabbing folks all over. Well, are they grabbing people that really have malaria and it's a drill to see if they can get away with it? Still, people are disappearing. We know that's going on. George Nori, I want your take on this. There's uproar over U.S. troops who are under Ebola quarantine in Italy. But in the past, the Navy, the Army, everybody quarantines people that are, might be sick. Uh, they shouldn't have been sent there. Uh, Trump says a new kind of hell to pay if soldiers are infected. Paper. Doctor lied about New York City travel. Turns out he traveled a lot more places. What is he doing? Uh, this other nurse now who's around Ebola saying she won't even self-quarantine. Documents have now been released and revealed confirming the State Department plans to bring non-U.S. citizens with Ebola here. Uh, I, I mean, I made jokes about that two weeks ago and had Democrats sign uh, fake petitions in Austin saying bring them here. Uh, this is becoming Twilight Zone. Uh, but Kit Daniels is here. Uh, George Norrie is here. We're going to have Kit pop in in a moment uh, about his story. But George Norrie, what do you think's really going on? George Norrie of Coast to Coast AM dot com uh, and Beyond Belief. What do you think's really going on, George? Well, I find it unusual, uh, Alex, that Ebola has been around for decades, and now they're saying by January they can have vaccines. What's taken so long? That's strange. Liberian newspapers have reported that Ebola was started by us to get them. Uh, that is something that a lot of people have suspected a long, long time ago as well. First of all, we should immediately, and as I've said this weeks ago, we should ban any flights in from those West African nations and seal off the borders with these airplanes and not let people in. It's cruel. It's cruel, but it's got to be done. Australia's doing it. We should be doing it. We've got to minimize it as much as possible. Heck, I was uh, even the one who did not want the doctor and the worker to come in when they first came in a month and a half ago uh, because I thought it would be a problem. Now, with the possibility of letting real, true Ebola patients into the country to Madness. treat them, Madness. ridiculous as well, though. Um, they're going to quarantine the troops for 21 days. Those troops, those American troops that we sent out there to help build little hospital rooms and things like that, they're going to be quarantined for up to 21 days, maybe longer, before they're even going to be allowed out anymore. Uh, the, the danger of all of this is not the widespread. You know, keep in mind, 36,000 Americans die every year from the, the so-called natural flu. If we had 36,000 people dying of Ebola, we'd be running around going crazy, screaming and yelling. The problem with Ebola is, is that 70% of the people who get it are dying. We 
we've been fortunate in this country that those people that have had it, we've been able to take care of them. They've been able to fight it. Uh, I, we, we must be doing something differently than they're doing in West Africa. Sure. What's going on with this nurse who was around Ebola patients and then was sick, so they quarantined her. Now she's out of the hospital. Obama orders her released. Uh, now the main governor is seeking to make nurse abide by quarantine, stay in her house. Bloomberg's reporting. Uh, the neighbors are freaking out. The locals are. I think people are so scared because the flu might kill one half of one tenth of one percent. And so we know if we get it, it's a very low chance. Ebola kills 70 percent. I think that's why it's so scary that if it starts spreading in the winter months, why was there a default, George, to stop people flying in before? to quarantine before, to not bring Ebola patients in before. Why has it all changed? Why do people not have any confidence in the system? Why do they say you can't get it on a bus or a train, but scientists say you can? Why are they lying so much? Are they lying or are they idiots? Uh, or maybe a combination of both. Sure. Uh, it just seems that everything they try to do, they screw up. I mean, if, if you had people like this in your company, Alex, or in coast to coast, we would have fired them a long time ago. I mean, we just you just can't have that kind of incompetence, and that's what we've got right now. We've got it. it common sense tells you you've got it. You've got a disease that spreads like crazy when when you're when you when you get any kind of solutions or body fluids or anything on you. And like you said, it could be airborne. Who the heck knows? Um, you you got to be careful, and they're not. They're being very, very foolish with it. Uh, letting so many people in who have this disease is ridiculous. And we have just touched the tip of the iceberg of what's going to happen with Ebola. I mean, you get these isolated cases. Uh, that's not a lot, but it's going to grow. It's going to fester. It's not over by a long shot. So you think it's overall real? I tend to agree with you. Something's creepy here, though. George Norrie, pulling back then, obviously, if on average Ebola spreads for each person that has it to two other people, you've got the, the guy that died in Dallas, and you've got uh, this doctor and this nurse and then others, and all these other Ebola patients that are being brought in, uh, more than 25 of them uh, that are aid workers. Now they're going to bring in foreign aid workers that have it, and they're saying it's no big deal when before they wear spacesuits. And, I mean, you've got all this happening if two nurses got it from one guy following the average, then you've got to expect with this medical doctor that was in the infectious stage at bowling alleys and restaurants and on the subway that it's had to have spread. So either it's fake or it's going to spread. Now, I'm not saying it's going to be some pandemic and we're going to see hundreds of thousands get sick and die. But clearly it's one or the other, George. What do you think? Well, I, I don't think it's fake. I think it's real. Uh, it, it, it's happening, and it could it could get out of control. And that's the bottom line. It could get out of control. What does your gut tell you? Are we going to see more cases? No, there's no question about it. Are we going to see widespread cases? I don't know yet. I can't speculate on that, but we're going to see more cases. What do you think about the disappearance, though I've confirmed with medical doctors on and off record, of people, the, the, these federal teams come and grab them? Uh, and they're probably quarantining them or testing them or grabbing the, the blood from them in case the, they get cured. They use it as a serum. Who knows? But uh, it, it's a very... Why not tell the public? Why not say? Oh. If we think you have a ball, we're going to put you in quarantine. The public would support that. I think they would. I think they would. But I think they think it's easier just to grab people and take them away. To set the precedent to secretly grab whoever they want in the future. We are going to come and take you. Uh, I tell you, it's, it, and then that only destroys confidence more, causes all the rumors. Uh, it is really out of control. Uh, Kit Daniels, one of our InfoWars News uh, writers and special reporters, is here. And uh, Kit, you notice something very easy uh, to uh, you know freak out about here. Uh, hiding in plain view, I want to get George Norrie's take on this. Again, George Norrie of CoastToCoastAM.com, one of the top syndicated hosts in the world, uh, joining us right now. Uh, Kit, uh, just a few weeks ago, uh, the CDC had one flyer out on Ebola. Now their new flyer says something pretty scary on it. Uh, we're going to show folks a document cam shot of this uh, if they're TV viewers. Uh, Kit, describe for radio listeners what we're looking at here. Well, the document on the left is from the CDC on October 16th. It's about the transmission of Ebola. It says nothing about droplet spread of Ebola. But now the CDC released a, another flyer on the right. 
on Monday, the 27th, which does admit that, yes, Ebola can spread through uh, droplet droplets in the air. Now, we were attacked by, no exaggeration, hundreds of publications uh, two and a half months ago for saying this. We were just leaning to the CDC's internal documents that were public but not really widely circulated, mm -hmm. saying this too. So why do you think they're now, Kit, coming out and quietly admitting this? Because now even the mainstream media is forced to admit that, yes, air, uh, Ebola can spread through droplets in the air. So now they're just slowly admitting, trying not to bring too much attention to themselves by quietly releasing <sighs> this document, this new revelation. Well, this is what concerns me, is that it, it, it doesn't die right away in cold weather and spreads, according to the Army. I know you have links to that in your article. Thank you, Kit Daniels. Mm -hmm. George, what's your take on this latest CDC um, <laughs> Fact flyer. Uh, again, it, sh it shows the incompetence of what's happening out there, Alec. But you're not a doctor. I'm not a doctor. But we could have told people years ago that Ebola or any disease is transmittable in droplets or any kind of fluids or any potential. If you come up to someone and they sneeze on you and somehow that gets into your system, you're going to get part of the virus. Now, will your body fight it off? Perhaps. Look, we all have cancer cells in our system. But it's our immune system that's keeping it in check in most cases. But there are some people that don't have strong immune systems, and they come down with cancer. It's the same thing with this Ebola situation, except it's tougher. It's tougher to fight off. And, you know, it, it just shows me once again the incompetence. How could they on one hand say it's not possible, and then weeks later they come out and say, well, maybe it is. Well, we eat GMO corn like BT that is in major studies on record to kill the honeybees that eat it, and it's linked to kids having you know these leaky guts. And then we wonder why our immune systems are shutting down. It's because they're bombarded. They're overwhelmed. We are in this toxic environment. Uh, I want to expand, George, before we get into some other topics and the time we have left with you to talk about beyondbelief.com and your hit TV show that I'm finally going to be able to come out to Denver and tape soon, uh, hopefully. I want to talk about that show because it's getting really popular. I saw the numbers on it. And I want to talk also about some of these big events you're putting on uh, that, that you've invited me to physically attend next year, but uh, attend via Skype coming up. I really look forward to those. Tell, tell people about your events. Well, in terms of the events, uh, we've got a lot coming up. You can always track where I'm going to be by going to coasttocoastam.com and at the bottom of the page, it says calendar. You click that and it shows where I'm going to be. But on November 8th in Toronto, Alex, and you're going to join us via Skype, and you've got a huge Toronto following, by the way. I'm going to be up there with uh, a woman who used to date Lee Harvey Oswald. She's wow. Going to be one of my guests. You're going to be there on Skype. Giorgio Sukalos from Ancient Aliens will be there. Peter Davenport, who heads up the National UFO Reporting Center. And then rock historian, our Gary Patterson, is joining me. He's going to talk about why so many great rock musicians died at the age of 27. And in addition, I do kind of sing on the side. So we've got a full group there that's going to play while I sing four songs throughout the night. Uh, and full information on that is at georgenorylive.com. If you live in the Toronto, Buffalo area, or if you just want a trip to uh, Toronto, come on out and see me November 8th. And by the way, I've seen you via uh, internet getting to stay on Skype the whole time and watch it. And I've been to William Shatner's variety show, and yours is a thousand times better. Even though his was okay, it was cool to see William Shatner. Uh, the, 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 the variety show you do, you know, bringing up serious topics, interesting things. You're a pretty good singer, George. Uh, I really look forward to next year when I'm going to physically come to some of your events. Uh, very, very exciting. Again, give folks that website one more time, because I know it sells out uh, every single time, no matter where you go. So the venues get bigger and bigger. Uh, give folks the website one more time so they can go get tickets. That's georgenorylive.com, and it's, of course, it's N-O-O-R-Y, georgenorylive.com, for our November 8th event in Toronto. And maybe next year, Alex, while I sing, I'll have you dance with somebody in the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> Well, with my torn Achilles, I'm not a very good dancer. The secret is, I'm not a good dancer unless I've had a bottle of wine. But then I Did guess you I... ever hear Shatner talk about uh, his play, his one-person play that he was in? And he said he's on stage, and all of a sudden he gets hit with the worst stomach ache of his life. He had to excuse himself. Keep in mind, he's on stage. He's the only person. He had to excuse himself, go to the restroom where he was there for about 15 minutes, and then he came back.
Sure. It's a dinner theater. In fact, those are some of the great stories when he was here last year and I went and saw him that he told. And uh, it, it was very interesting. Boy, that's a guy that's got a lot of uh, energy. In fact, I don't want to say it's a thousand, yours is a thousand times better because this was pretty good. I'm just saying it was much, much better watching it on Skype than seeing Shatner in person, which I liked. So that's what I'm saying. It really is a good show, folks. So check that out. Uh, now, George, we, we've only got one more segment left, and, and you always let me come on your show, and you've got a few questions, but you let me kind of go in, in any direction I want. What are you most happy about in the world right now, and what are you most concerned about in the world right now? I'm concerned primarily about, again, the complete lack of understanding and respect for human beings uh, yes. by government. Uh, they just don't seem to care. What I'm happy about is that people are on to them and that we understand them. And by doing so, we're going to continue to fight back. Uh, you know, not necessarily, and I do not advocate violence by any means, but we're going to fight back at the election booth. We're going to fight back on talk shows. We're going to fight back uh, in any way we can to keep them from trying to win. And I think, again, in the long run, we're going to win. Well, that's right. Dinosaur media is dying everywhere because it just can't get its mind around ever questioning or being critical. Uh, and I just can't imagine what the system's going to do because pride goes before a fall. Every indicator shows that the establishment is in deep trouble, uh, and it just shows so much arrogance. I think it may be a confidence game, and they're not actually as arrogant as they ask, uh, you know, as they act. But George, I think you're right, though. In the final equation, respect for human life, respect for each other, believing in humanity, believing in our greater angels, believing we can do better things—that's what builds civilization in the future. But this globalist eugenicist view of we're all crud and humans are a disease and all this, that's what's going to bring in a total nightmare. Final segment straight ahead with George Norrie. We'll talk more about some of the things happening in the election. Uh, his prediction, will the Republicans take the House? Well, they already have the House. More seats in the House. Will they take the Senate? Of course, the Democrats have right now and more. His site, coasttocoastam.com. I'm Alex Jones with Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. TV. Are you happy doing your laundry with perfume detergents that irritate your skin? Are you happy washing your hands with stinking fragrances that gives your skin rashes? Are you happy paying new, higher prices for smaller boxes? Find your happiness today with our one to four year supply of pure soaps or our one to two month sampler with bar soap, shampoo, laundry, and dish soap at fivestarsoap.com. You deserve the best. Happiness is fivestarsoap.com. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. The experts are clear. Sunlight, purified water, healthy non-GMO food, and having a good attitude is essential to a healthy immune system. But I go further with Super Nascent Iodine X2 from InfoWarsLife.com. 50% stronger than our original and revolutionary nascent iodine formula, coming from a deep earth crystal source that no other supplier has. Most other forms of iodine come from seaweed in areas plagued by Fukushima and other contaminants. Not our iodine. It comes from over 200 million year old crystal salt deposits and is tested and proven to be completely pure. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today. See the informational videos. Read the information they're compiled. And for a limited time, when you use promo code NOW at checkout, you get an additional 5% off the entire family of InfoWarsLife.com products. Secure your Survival Shield X2 today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. The lining of your lungs is supposed to be protected with glutathione to neutralize incoming irritants. In the absence of enough glutathione, your lungs are more prone to irritation. Listen to the real-world results of one man using a powerful glutathione-supporting food. Hi, my name is Bill O'Brien. I generally suffer through an asthmatic breathing-type situation. 
My breathing is shallow and generally constricted in the nose and lungs. After consuming One World Away today, I have tremendous energy and also notice my breathing is free. I can feel the air in my left nostril and it is free all the way to my abdomen, which is pretty remarkable because I rarely get that feeling. Being a singer, I love feeling this unrestricted voice. The only thing new I've actually added to my routine is One World Away. Wow. Call 888-988-3325. That's 888-988-3325. Or visit OneWorldWay.com. That's OneWorld, W-H-E-Y.com. Some folks are born. Grown Folks TV One tweeted at Real Alex Jones, wanted to ask George Norrie, do you foresee DHS coming to our homes and forcing vaccines on us anytime soon? What's your take on that, George Norrie? Anytime soon, no. Possible? Absolutely. There's, they've set us up for this, to be able to come to us and have mandatory vaccines and push us to do it. I'm not going to do it. Let's get back to Revelation for a moment, Alex. Revelation, the sign of the beast, 666. What is it? It's a mark to buy and use and do, and, and, you know, have services. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to get chipped. I'm not going to have a mark put on me. And uh, they will try to do that to us one day. Uh, but uh, fight it. Fight it as long as well, you They're going to do it through identity theft. The, the globalists are, are going to release everybody's biometric data and, and you know, force us on the biometrics because they release all the credit card data and all the passwords. Then it'll be biometric, then that'll get hacked, and they'll say, look, you got to have it in your body. Yep, yep, and then they'll get all your medical records. They'll get everything they need on you. And uh, you know what? It's not going to happen. George, you ought to come on again just on your view on the future and the mark of the beast. That'd be an amazing interview. We could do a roundtable on yours. Sure. Uh, what does George think... Uh, Texan American citizen on Twitter asks, what does George think about the recent deathbed confession of Lockheed Martin engineer Boyd Bushman? I don't know what the, what they're talking about. Maybe you know. That uh, was uh, an Area 51 expert uh, who claims that indeed there are extraterrestrials at Area 51 and that he knows that. It's an amazing story. You know, I haven't been able to authenticate it yet. Uh, a lot of times somebody can make up something and uh, I don't even know if Bushman was was a real person from Lockheed, but if he was, it's an incredible story of another admission of what's been going on at Area 51. A Rick So man on Twitter asked, what does George think about aliens and UFOs being a psyop on the people by the New World Order? Mm, no, I believe in extraterrestrials. This universe is way too vast to think we're by ourselves. I do believe they've come here and seated us, but I don't think there's a... Uh, going on within the world order with that. Last question, Mama Liberty 1776 on Twitter asks, do you agree nowhere else to go that the U.S., we must take a stand against current corruption uh, and false authority? Is there nowhere else to run? There is no place to run, so we stay right here and we fix it and we make sure that it happens. Well, George, uh, in the last minute and a half we have left, I uh, want to encourage people to go to your TV show. That I guess you can sign up and get 10 days free right now and see a lot of the back shows. They're excellent uh, at beyondbelief.com and support the new media, beyondbelief.com, and just click on the George Norrie link uh, right there. Uh, in the final equation, what do you think is going to happen in the next few years? Do you think Obama and the globalists are going to run wild when he's uh, a lame duck and can pardon himself? No, I don't think they're going to run wild. You know, some people have predicted that there's not going to be an election in 2016, that there's going to be some catastrophe where they decide that we can't have an election right now. Uh, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to say no to that. That's, uh, that's a possibility. Was it planned? Um, I don't think so. But uh, it, is, it is possible. I think it's unfortunate that these people we elect uh, who start off well-intentioned. There's no question about it in my mind. I think all of them have had these ideals of trying to make this a better country and a better planet. And then something happens to them. Uh, you know, they get tainted, they get approached, they get changed. And they
they begin to realize, you know, oh my gosh, you know, I got to play this game with these elitists, and that's what's happening. Um, I, I think Barack Obama came into this uh, election uh, backed by people. I tell you what, George, we'll do five minutes overdrive with us. Come back and finish this point. We're back in sixty seconds. Okay. Infowars.com forward slash show. Visit to get the free feeds. This is overdrive. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula. Super male vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. I jump out of bed ready to fight these criminals every day. I look forward to waking up and taking my super male vitality. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your super male vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life. The government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel body armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds. Is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L, BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit.